For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz, BSU men's hockey team. Won twice last weekend, joined by senior defenseman Sam Rendell. Scored uh, the lone goal and a win on uh, Friday night. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you. Usually it doesn't happen very often, so when it does, I'm pretty happy. one nothing game. They uh, had a goal that was waved off. Real tight checking game. Is that the tightest, most hardworking game that you guys have played in all year? Yeah, definitely. Uh, both teams, we had a, obviously there's a lot on the line going into the weekend, and I think that's how these next six games are going to be here on the way out, too. Everyone's, every game matters, points here and there, home ice, uh, getting in the playoffs, uh, win, you know, winning the conference tourney, so it's uh, there's a lot on the line. You guys went from day one of the season to game 30 without a road win. It's a long time. At any point in that stretch, did you think about it or not? I mean, you know, you try not to think about it too much, but also, you know, uh, anytime you can get points on the road, it's a win for you, and we haven't been able to do that. And, you know, we thought we had a good opportunity last weekend, a uh, chance to get home ice in our, our favor for going into these last six games, and uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of going down there and, you know, kind of playing our game. Saturday was a weird game. I still don't know how you guys scored three goals on four shots here in the second period, but this point of the year you take anything that finds the back of the net you can right oh definitely i mean uh we've also i mean these last few years we've we've been on the other side of the things too so you know it's it's nice sometimes to be on the on the better side of things you redshirted uh were hurt one year so how have things changed from five years ago when you walked on campus to now i mean i mean oh, everything's changed i mean uh it seems like a long time ago when i was playing with a. Uh, with Losey and Rito and and all those guys, but uh, you know, I thought I think we've done a, the senior class, the the group that came in that was a, a year below me. I think we've done a pretty good job of you know trying to get back to what Beaver hockey is, and you know, we just wanted we wanted to make sure we left a, a good positive uh, footprint on our way out the door here, and I think we're heading in the right direction. Three weeks left to the regular season, two of those weeks at home. How many do you think you, you're going to need to keep that home ice spot? Uh, I mean. We obviously we don't want to win as many as we can. Uh, uh, it'd be nice to come home this weekend, and uh, you know, if we get, if we go back out with four points, we'd be put, we'd be in a pretty healthy spot uh, heading the last two weeks of the season. But we just got to take it game by game, and you know, uh, every win matters, and that's how we're going to kind of approach it. Anchorage got beat by ten last Saturday. As an opponent, do you pay any attention to that at all, or since you played them to two ties already? Uh, do you, do you not even worry about that? Uh, I mean, it's kind of one of those things that you you look at the score and you see wow, ten nothing, and then that's that's pretty much it. It's a uh, it's a fresh slate when they come in here. They're going to be a hungry team. They're uh, fighting to get into the playoffs right now, and uh, we definitely don't have any room to sit back and play on our heels. Uh, we got to come out and you know try to establish it right away and have, hopefully walk away with a good Friday Saturday. Best of luck. Thanks, Chelsea.